Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome back to the channel. So today we're taking another tour of the server. We're going to be looking around what the players have built in this final week. Will they be attacking? Will they be defending? Are they entering into the PvP area? Or are they going to stay put in the PvE zone and fight the DRF to the end? Whatever happens, it's going to be a very exciting scenario. So let's see what they've been building. So we're actually over at the NBS base. We're going to be searching through block count today rather than the usual. So you see we're at the NBS Razor Crest. And this is this facility here. So the, originally this was this large box-like structure they were using for production. But they've started to turn it into a ship. You can see that this rear engine housing has started to emerge from the back. And then you can see around the side here, through the hangar bay, they've started developing a few more ships on the inside. You can see a ship up there. You can see some of the ones that are stored down below. A very nice design. Quite compact. You can see even in this area, they've got this larger Star Wars style ship. A little bit further in design. I think it's almost finished. It probably is finished. It'll be exciting to see in the final PvP scenario if this managed to get a little bit of fighting done. But the interior is fully welded up. And it is ready to go very exciting from mbs so let's continue on going through looking at block count so next up we have bom so this is lake house's faction he's recently vacated his base that we saw last time and he is in fact living at another asteroid let's see if we can we can have a better look and he's somewhere around here oh there we go the grids the grids are loading in and there we go so he's got this giant ship that he's been constructing there it is. You can see it's floating around. It's got missile turrets. Look how gorgeous that is. The shape is beautiful. The amount of time and effort that he's put in to develop this thing is astonishing. A massive missile barrage. This is a serious competitor for the PvP fight at the end here. We've also got the missile barges here, fully stocked, ready to go with... Wow, there's plenty of missiles there. You have to take account and tell me how many missiles there are in the comment section below. But we've also got these cool decoy blocks there as well. So this is fully a prepped for the final pvp battle this week very exciting to see and he's still mining he's still getting resources he's got some big plans ahead of him he's also got some cool little ships that are tucked on the side here let's have a quick dip into the interior so more hangar storage in here very nice indeed we've got a top deck hangar full of ships welding mining refining this is pretty much like a capital ship, and this is fully functioning within survival. It's, it takes a lot of work to build up something like this, and you can see it's got a very functional interior with catwalks and corridors leading throughout it. Oh, he's actually up here in the med bay. I've caught, I've caught him. Hopefully he doesn't find me, but you can see these other players sitting in the seats. Really cool design ship, that. Let's continue on. So, carrying on through the large block count, we're actually going to head over to the NOD Micro G. What is the Micro G? <laughs> some players pick some very interesting names. So over here, it's loading itself up. You can see it looks like quite a large facility. Oh, here we go. So we, we have been here before, and every time I end up at the Nod base, for some reason, there's a bloody sandstorm going on. So what we'll do is, the, the players will probably thank us for this, is we'll go to the weather, and we'll just remove the weather in this area for the minute. So there we go. Weather is currently turned off and we can actually have a look at this facility. So it's quite a large facility. You can see that we've got this lower area here that's been mined out. They've got plenty of turrets because the DRF attacks have been getting more and more hardcore. Loads of ships and they've also been working on some other ships in this lower hangar area down here. Very cool indeed. And if we took underneath we've got a few more ships that are being worked on and printed off and stacked up in their quick disposable racks down at the bottom very cool indeed if we took ourselves through you can see the various storage like they've got before not too many new additions to this place but really they're at a stage now where they can just print off whatever they want you can see the tower looks like it's got a little bit taller so moving through our grid list let's check out instead of grids let's go to block count and we're going to go to the trillo bike now this is comrade comrade ship so this is most likely going to be an admin one of types or part of a scenario so let's have a quick little bit of a a look, a look see, see what's going on. If it loads up. There we go, space engineers at its usual. Speed loading. Okay, so these are all locked within what could possibly be admin safe zones. So this is a, a final stand looking area, one of the DRF hubs. 
Very cool indeed. These are going to be exciting when players decide to attack them. You can see the little hub areas there. These will open up. Players can rush in and have a little bit of a battling of them. And we've got a full facility down here, complete with everything one would need. But if we actually go inside here, we've got a very strange cinema room. <laughs> <laughs> Apathy. He's he's always up to stuff. He's always up to something. Always getting a bit cheeky. Right. So away from that, let's continue going down our block count. Away from the trilobite. We've got the another MBS orbiter base. We have been there. Uh, we've also got the DRF. Let's have a let's have a look at the Fed Zephyr Mark One. Let's see what that's about. And let's see if it's at the Fed base. The Fed base I wasn't going to visit because it's really not too much has actually happened to it. They've got a few new ships. But the Fed Zephyr is up here in space. You can see this is a giant, another giant ship. And they've also brought what looks to be the TMI bar with them from the last video, <laughs> including the picture of Conrad in there. It's not looking like it's done too well. It looks like it's definitely come through the atmosphere. And around the front, they've got a giant dr drill prong. They've got a Henry as a almost a hood ornament. <laughs> oh, what do they get up to, these players? They've got a nice interior, though. They've been working through this, complete with a little flaming thruster. Very cool indeed. Fed hard at work trying to get into that PvP area by a look of it. They've had a few bit of time on the run. What's the rear arrow? Just a thruster. Oh, and there's some hangers down here at the back. Oh, hangers for little fighters as well. Very nice indeed. So let's go back to our menu. Let's have a look at block count once again. And we'll go to the TMI forward until dot. Oh, so that's what this must be. The whole base must be the TMI forward until dot. It always confuses me when there's multiple factions within one group. So we've got the RAB cargo truck, Unga Bunga. So this is this is a large grid. This must be connected up to probably the base or something similar. Let's have a look. You can see there's a massive void that play, the players have been drilling into. Okay, what have we got here? Have we at number one been here before? And let's have a look on the outside. So yeah, this looks like the Zap facility. I could be a bit confused. They've got this. Yeah, there we go. We've got a Zap ship on the outside. Look at that guy. He looks absolutely awesome. Oh, she. Lovely design. Looks like it's got a lot of armor. Missile launchers at the top. We've also got some of the Imperial ruins that I've seen off somewhere on the workshop there. And then we've got the door. This place got hit really hard last time. So let's continue moving through. We've got landing pads. We've got a few ships. It looks like we've got a little bit of a light flicker there. Not everything's in here. I guess they got drained a little bit in the final event the other day. They've also built themselves a pirate ship. <laughs> oh, it's amazing what players put on. I like it when they put a little bit of a show on like this and build some weird things in there. Very cool indeed. Very nice. Uh, let's go back to our grid count and see what's up next. So from RAB, let's go to BHA. So Mr. Cheeky, what has he been up to? What has Mr. Cheeky been working on? Let's get these grids loading in. So they've got this cool desert facility. When we last looked at this, this was like a tan colour. But you can see it's gone to red and black now. It's also had a few shots at it by the look of it from the DRF when they've come in passing. And I think last time there was a big hole in one of the sides. Yeah, it looks like they've patched that up. Not too many new ships in here. They've got a few of these small weldy-like ships. And they've got a few smaller fighters. And oh, that's a bit of a larger fighter on the hangar base. Still a very cool design though. They've also got these little cell hangers on the side, yet to be filled with anything. Let's check this other one. Oh, this one's packed. Look at that. So maybe they are more prepared than I originally thought. Very cool indeed. Let's continue on. So this time we're going back to block count and we're scrolling through. I'll try not to miss anyone out. That's the th I always miss people when I'm scrolling too quickly. So we've not had a look at TNT just yet. Let's see what TNT are up to. Buzzing B. It's quite a small grid though there. Over at the TNT facility. So TNT are the ones that converted the Orbiter and kept quite an original look to it. There's not too much more to this place. There's a few more ships. But like I say, when players get to this final week, they stop really expanding the base and kind of focus on building ships and other things from it. So let's go back on to block count and have a little bit of a look and see what's going on as well. So we, we've also got to have a look at SWI. SWI are currently, or well, the Invested Pits, that's what they've called it. So they've actually finished their little ramp now. So you can see the Orbiter is on the piston. It'd be nice if, is, is Shea about? There's Shea there. So they're building these strange like organic pods that emit this 
green gas. It's a cool idea. I like all this sort of organic style building. You can see they've rebuilt this. They've rebuilt the main turret hub there. And they've got the orbiter pod actually on this ramp. So they've got some GPSs, some other cool things going on in there. Really nice. And that's just a standard sort of orby ship. And then they've got this whole taken over infested area down here as well. Cool with these little eyes looking in. Really cool. I like that base a lot. Let's continue jumping through. So onto the block count. Oh, there's, there's just so much stuff to look at though. We've, we've been there. Let's have a quick look at um, PBP. The other thing is in this final week as well. Is we might also have players you know that aren't ha aren't making it into the final week so to say they've, they've either given up early or they're moving on to do something else so pbp base i'm not seeing anything loaded in just yet it might take a second or two more so this is a smaller grid one okay so these guys look like they've been under quite heavy attack but still a quite cool outpost that they've got going on here storage very cool indeed. Nice little bunker in the side of the hill. So we're going to wrap this video up here. This is the final tour of this season. We've seen some exciting things and I know I've definitely missed some of the players' creations, but hopefully we'll get to see them in the final battles. If players take part in the PvP, fighting over that final GPS spot, or the PvE engagement and take out the DRF. Anyway, let's thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.